Department of Transportation. Do you live in the Fredericksburg area, or maybe you're thinking about moving here? Then you might be interested in how the Virginia Department of Transportation is planning to improve your ride on I-95. Five major interstate projects for the Fredericksburg area are either under construction now, or will start by 2019. So let's take a quick drive south on I-95, and I'll show you what's coming up. I-95 Express Lane's Southern Terminus Extension. First, as you enter Stafford County on I-95, just south of Quantico, you've probably seen construction in the median near the Route 610 exit. Express lanes are being extended by two and a half miles south of exit 143. This will let drivers enter express lanes sooner and exit after the interchange, reducing merging and weaving that can occur today near the exit. This $50 million project is a partnership between Transurban, which operates the express lanes, and VDOT. The new exit ramp will open by the end of 2017, and the new entrance will open by summer 2018. I-95 Express Lanes Fredericksburg Extension. Planning is also underway to extend express lanes another 10 miles south of the current project as far as the Route 17 interchange in Stafford. Construction is anticipated to start in 2019 with lanes opening by 2023. Design work is underway now. Exit 140, Diverging Diamond Interchange. Let's keep driving. At the next exit on I-95 at Courthouse Road in the center of Stafford, VDOT is modernizing this busy interchange and ramps to handle more vehicles and future growth with a $150 million project. When construction is finished in summer of 2020, drivers will use a diverging diamond interchange, called the DDI for short. This innovative design eliminates traditional left turns that cross over oncoming traffic and can handle more left turns per hour, twice the capacity of a conventional interchange. More than 1,000 commuter parking spaces will be built near the interstate with drop-off and pickup lanes for van pools, carpools, buses, and slugging. Just off the interstate, Courthouse Road will be widened to four lanes from Route 1 to Raymond Church Road, a joint effort between Stafford County and VDOT. Look for a new paved path and pedestrian improvements, also completed by summer of 2020. I-95 southbound Rappahannock River Crossing. Jumping down to Route 17 in southern Stafford, construction begins in summer 2018 on the I-95 southbound Rappahannock River Crossing. The heaviest traffic on I-95 in our region is between Route 17 and Route 3 in Fredericksburg. This $125 million project will double the number of lanes between these interchanges. When construction is finished, there will be six southbound lanes, with three lanes for through traffic and three lanes for local traffic. This will reduce congestion over the Rappahannock River, improving the ride for everyone passing through town and for residents crossing the river for shopping or work. The new lanes will open in 2022. Route 3 Interchange. Finally, at the Route 3 interchange in Fredericksburg, changes to the ramps are under construction to make your ride simpler and safer. This $21 million project will be finished by January of 2019. Our goal is to reduce the number of crashes at this interchange, which in turn will reduce congestion. The project will provide a dedicated right turn only lane for traffic entering Central Park from I-95 South and separate lanes for those vehicles continuing on to Route 3 westbound eliminating the challenges with merging traffic during peak travel times. A new on-ramp configuration for I-95 North will simplify the merge for vehicles entering the highway. Thank you for listening, and to learn more about any of these projects, visit us online at virginiadot.org or call us 24 hours a day at 1-800-FOR-ROAD. That's 1-800-4-ROAD. Finally, do you want to check out what traffic looks like before you start a trip? Use VDOT's traffic site, 511virginia.org, to check out our reports of lane closures or incidents and view our traffic cameras before you get out on the highway. Thank you again.